Hello my friends, thank you so much for watching and welcome to a new video. Today I have for you a makeup tutorial that was inspired by the DVF Fashion Runway Show which took place this September at New York Fashion Week. I saw this look on Kendall Jenner and I thought it was stunning. I figured it's most likely going to look absolutely beautiful on you as well and not only be ready for spring 2016 but we are still transitioning into the fall season so we have another month or so to pull this look off and not only look and feel beautiful but be part of the latest trend. So if you like to see how I accomplished this look then please keep watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe so we can stay connected. To achieve the runway hairstyle which was inspired by 70s curls I used my triple thread ceramic curling iron with the one inch barrel and after releasing the curl I pinned it up so it can cool off in this position and essentially last longer. As far as the face I have my Arban primer and my physician's formula BB cream. You probably know that I avoid foundation as often as possible and this look is especially it's very breezy it's very light it's very 70s I also applied concealer under my eyes as well as the top of my lids which doubles as a primer to help avoid any fallout from ruining the base that we've created I'm using this Laura Mercier brightening powder and I'm going to apply this right underneath my eyes let's begin make sure to cover the entire under eye area from the bridge of your nose past where your eyebrows end to give the look a little bit more depth, I'm actually going to combine two different greens, this one and this one. I will link all the products used below so you can have all the details. Dabbing the brush into the lighter of the greens from Makeup Geek called Sure Thing, I apply the product at the inner corner of the eye. That's where it's going to be concentrated. Then, without adding any more product, I use what's left on the brush to feather out the look closer to where the eyelashes begin and slightly upward toward the crease. I use a Q-tip to fade out more because this makeup look, you guys, is very light so the transitions have to be more feathered. And this is what we have so far. Also from Makeup Geek, I'm using Apple Teeny and I'm applying it not from the inner corner but from where the lash line starts toward the middle of the eye and raising it up a bit toward the crease like I did with the previous color. Now I paid close attention to the makeup done on the DVF models and noticed that the blue in the middle of the eye area was surrounded top and bottom by green. So that is why I'm creating a C shape sort of speak with this second green um, and it has a hollow middle where the blue is basically going to peek through. Using a fluffy brush and windshield wiper type movement, I'm going to make sure that the transition from the brow bone toward these colors is as smooth and feathered as possible. Because I don't have the exact blue that they used on the runway, I'm going to mix two different shades from Motifs Cosmetics and achieve a similar look. Taking my eyeshadow brush from the LAB Square I'm Turning Pro Kit, I lightly dab into the Motif's Twilight eyeshadow. And you guys, the key with this look is to not apply too much off the bat. Um, it's better if you take the product little by little and build toward the desired color, if that makes sense. Listen to me, I sound so serious. The runway look had a nice extended wing, so I'm going to use a little tape. The easiest way to do this is to align the tape with your eyebrows, then holding that angle you need to lower the tape and then place it under the bottom lashes. Using the same color blue, I'm going to start expanding and creating a feathered wing. I wonder how many times I said feathered. <laughs> After I removed any excess product from the brush, I just made sure that there is a fluidity to the color and everything is blended in nicely and smoothly. Ooh, nicely and smoothly. <laughs> from the Motifs Dynasty palette, I'll use this blue because it has slight purple undertones and at different angles, the DVF makeup looked like it had a little purple in it too. Now I'm applying this on top of the blue we already have and the highest I'll go with it is the crease. I'm not going to go over the wing we created because we want the look to be really soft, not heavy. And with all the excess removed from the brush, I'll blend in with the green. I'm putting the last touches on the second green we used to make sure it clearly shows that it arches over the blue in the middle then blends with the blue from the outer corner. The final touch, of course, is to blend everything at the top using the fluffy brush. 
After removing the tape, I used short, swift movements to wipe away the powder and any fallout with it. Because this look is so fluid, I didn't want to leave any dramatic wing lines behind, so I took a q-tip first, which I lightly ran up and down that line, but then I also took the fluffy brush and repeated that movement. For the under eye area, I'm going to go with the first green that we used also at the inner corner. I'm going to make sure that the top and bottom inner corners are connected. And after I wipe the brush using left to right movements, I'll start heading downward just to give it a blended look. Using the second green, I'll fill in from the outer toward the inner corner of the under eye, right where the bottom lashes start. And then I'll cap the look with the same blending motion that I showed you earlier. Now I'm going to apply my Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in black to the waterline. Now it looks like the under eye is slightly darker here than on mine, so I'm going to apply a little bit of my Motifs Blackout. Using an angled brush, I'm going to apply a little bit of the black under my eyes. Time to remove the eye poopies and then with the fluffy flathead brush I'm going to blend the under eye areas. Next I'll apply the powder and after it I'll use some bronzer, mascara, do the brows, blush and then I'll correct some of the acne scars. Now the thing about this look is that I'm not using any foundation, I'm half an arm's length away from bright fluorescent lights and I'm using an HD camera so literally every flaw that may show on the screen is almost barely visible in real life. The reason I do this is because as much as I love tutorials that look flawless on camera, many of them look really caked up in real life like you tripped and fell face first in a bucket of makeup. and. I didn't want that with this look. Most of the time I use the granite brow pencil from Anastasia, but the runway look calls for some shades of brown in the eyebrows, so I'll first fill in any bold spots and then I'll tie everything together with the Endless Brow Gel in Medium from Pixie. Now you can always add a little highlighter on your cheekbones, on the bridge of your nose and your cupid's bow, maybe a little bit above your eyebrows, but if we want to go based off the runway look, this is pretty much the essence of it, so no other bells and whistles. I didn't have any flowers that matched in color to put in my hair, so I just used whatever I could find, but if you don't like the flowers, you can always go with other statement pieces or whatever you can find to make this look your own. Let's not forget the lip gloss, of course. I applied two coats of Lip Surgeons from Tarte and the color is, let me see here, Flush. Hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did please give it a like and follow me on instagram i'm linked below and that's where i post more beauty and makeup looks and things of that nature please share this video with any of your beauty loving friends who you think will like it and stay tuned because next tuesday i have a new video in the relationships category where i'm going to share with you how to build trust in a relationship so again thank you so much for watching may good luck and fortune follow you everywhere you go today and every day i will see you very soon bye